the Lives of the Cowboys, brought to you by Home on the Range brand lawn statuary. Deer, antelope, penguins, and flamingos, all durable and realistic. Well, Dusty, looks like uh, that's Yellow Gulch over the over those hills over there. I believe so. Yeah. So, uh, you going into town? I am going into town, yes. I'm going to go and get some tobacco to replace mm-hmm. this, this right here. This is my last plug right there. I see. You going to see Miss Evelyn Bibelow? I certainly hope so, yes. Uh-huh. You still uh-huh. carrying a torch for her then? I guess you could say that, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, how long since you've seen her? Well, that's about seven years. Well, how come in a long absence? Well, if I got you a were, good memory, you know. If you were in love with her, how come uh, so long? Well, you know, I just, I just had a feeling that she was going to dump me, and it would have been so painful, so I left before she could. Yeah, well, I guess that makes sense. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So what were those scrambled eggs that we had for breakfast this morning? Buzzer eggs. Oh, I see. Yeah, I found them up on the Arroyo. Really? Mm-hmm. No wonder they tasted funny. Buzzards feed on dead fish, you know, dead flesh and animals and like... Yeah. Yeah. So do you. Well, I mean, it's not quite the same, is it? Yeah. I don't think so. I just, I don't know. I just kind of wish you'd told me that before. Cause well, you didn't ask. Hard to get that off your breath, you know? Mm. Anyway. So what are you going to do if Miss Bibolo is mm. no longer Miss, but has become someone's Mrs.? Well, I guess, you know, I will congratulate her and, uh, you know, I'll be grown up about it and, um, and we'll go off and have a nice lunch and, uh, with her and her sweetheart and um, we'll have a, uh, a white wine probably and a uh, nice salad and uh, have a civilized conversation and then I'll go off and cut my throat, I guess. <laughs> You want me to stop you from cutting your throat? or Well, just... I would, yes, if you... Uh, I could watch, I mean... If you're nearby, yes. All right, like I'll you stop to... you then. Yeah. I know, I just wish I hadn't eaten those buzzard eggs. And it's just... <sighs> when you can smell your breath yourself, you know it's bad. Here they come. Those... Watch out. Those buzzards aren't happy about it either. Look at that. Oh, hi, Gosh, it's so good to see you. Oh, thank you. Oh, I worry about you, Lefty, oh, riding that hmm. lonely trail year after year. Well, Gosh, why do you do it, Lefty? Hmm. They haul cattle in trucks now, you know. No, I know that, but, you know, some cattle, they prefer not to ride in trucks. Really? And so we, we drive them down the lonely, dusty, godforsaken trail. It's yeah. Just what we do. Yeah, but you're getting kind of old for that, Lefty. Well, I am, I know, but what else am I going to do? You know, well, you could do what my boyfriend Pete does. Oh, what's that? Well, he wears jeans and he gets them all faded and torn and then they sell them in New York for more than they cost brand new. Oh, mm, no. <laughs> yeah. So you got a boyfriend then, huh? Well, yes, Lefty. I, I wrote you a letter about it. Yeah, well, that's fine. That's fine. I mean, I, I wrote you a letter in Durango. Well, I haven't been in Durango for, I don't know, five, six years. So. Oh, well, it's, it's waiting for you there okay. when you get there. Oh. Yeah. What sort of work does Pete do other than wear jeans? Oh, he's a gambler and a rambler. Oh, uh, sure. Uh-huh. Yeah. He knows when to hold them and when to fold them. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, you mean the cards? Uh, yeah. Oh. What did you think? Oh, I, I meant? don't know. Never mind. Just, uh, oh. My mind goes in strange directions. Uh-huh. Oh, boy, oh. Oh, 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 oh. He's what? a coming. He's a coming. I told you he'd be a coming. Now he is. Big messer. Uh-oh. He's on his way back. It's time to skid out. Oh, 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 no. oh, oh gosh. Oh. Big messer. That's the yeah. one who went to church and shot the organ. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. He went to prison up in Yuma, but I guess he's out now. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, here he comes. Oh. Did I say that big messers are coming back? Yes, you did, Jimmy. You sure did. Yeah, you got it covered there, Jimmy. Okay. Uh, Couldn't remember if I did or didn't. Okay, good. All right, just making sure. Okay, All right. Bye-bye. Yeah. Uh, oh, there he is. All right, let's, uh, let's go, Evelyn. Come on. I got oh. the horse hitched to the wagon now. Oh, uh, 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 this uh, who is, is this? this? Yeah, this is Lefty, Pete. Uh-huh. Uh, Lefty, I want you to meet my boyfriend, Pete. Mm. This is the guy you were engaged to for 15 years. Uh-huh. Him, this one yeah. here. Fifteen <laughs> wonderful years. Yeah. Right? yeah. Sure, at the gateway to paradise. Is that so? Well. Yeah. Hope you're very happy together. Oh. 
Well, I'm a gambler, mister. I can read a man's face like other people read a book. Oh. You're a man with a broken heart. Oh. I tell you this, if you plan to slit your throat, be sure to use a sharp knife, okay? okay? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Evelyn, let's go. Let's get on today. One of those old steam engine trains. You just don't see those very often nowadays, do you? And there's why. Well, I need to fix the brakes on that thing. There's a gentleman getting off the train right now. Kind of a slope shouldered fella, kind of squinty eyed, wearing a Wearing a vest that looks like something the Salvation Army would give to a man getting out of prison. It must be him. Okay, people, listen up. I said I'd come back and now here I am. I am trouble on wheels. I'm the avenging angel. I am death on toast. I am smallpox, cholera, and testosterone all in one package. I was spawned by a tornado and a cloud of pestilence, and every bone in my body is meaner than a skunk. Oh, who are you? Mm, uh, the name's uh, Lefty Messer. Okay. Best put a mister in front of that messer and add a sir to it. I'll give that some thought. So where's the marshal? I don't hmm? see him around here. I guess he found business elsewhere, huh? So you represent the law in this town? You? Hmm? <laughs> I guess de facto I do, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. De facto. De facto, yeah. That's a fancy lawyer word. Oh, I see. Lawyers are the ones who stuck me in that filthy prison. Hmm. You a lawyer? No, no, no. A friend of lawyers? I don't believe so. Hmm. So what do you do know about the law? You stand there and defend it, huh? Hmm. Well, I don't think it really needs uh, defending. I just know that the energy of a particle is equal to its mass times the square of the speed of light. Oh, wow. <laughs> One law I'd stand up for, huh? You just read that in a book. No, I just... You've never seen it done? Well, Let me show you a law, okay? Yeah, what's For it? every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. And while you're lying there, how about oh. Newton's law of gravity? Oh. Every mass attracts every other mass by a force proportional to the product of the two masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between no, no. them. I'm going to back no. up a few steps no, and no. here I come. No, no. <laughs> and how about old Archimedes? Oh. Yeah, Archimedes. A body that is submerged in a fluid is buoyed up by a force equal to the magnitude of the weight of huh? the fluid that is displaced. Huh? Let me show you how no, that no, works. No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> there you go. I believe that you, Messer, may be forgetting about the infield fly rule. Uh, says that a pop fly that's hit with runners on base and that is, uh, can be caught by an infielder of uh, ordinary effort shall be declared immediately uh, and out by the umpire before it's touched by a fielder. I didn't know. Infield fly rule. What in the heck does that have to do well, with it's anything? A, it's a rule. It's a law. It has to be respected. That's all. <laughs> Who are you to talk about respect? Huh? You got buzzard breath well, or something. Do this, eh? It's you. What's wrong with you? I stand by my principles, sir. Principles. Uh, principles, yeah. principles, uh-huh. Well, let me just prove you one more. What's Parkinson's that? law. In the hierarchy, every employee tends to rise to the level of incompetence. Oh, really? Yeah, that's well, right. Well, you're forgetting about Mr. Murphy and his law. What about him? Well, just look over there behind you right there. Wait a minute, let's see. Huh? I don't see nothing over ah. there. Oh, ah. oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Favorite law of every cowboy, huh? Anything can get wrong, it will, right, Dusty? 
Yeah. Well, it's always worked out that way yeah. for me, that is for sure. Me oh, too. Lefty. Hey, Evelyn, Lefty. you all right? Oh, thanks so much for standing up to Big Messer, oh, Lefty. Somebody had to do it, sure. Oh, I guess right. So, anyway, you're leaving town now. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Yeah, well, you're just going to ride away and not say goodbye? Goodbyes are just too emotional, you know. I just oh. don't go for all that crying and hugging and, and, and all that well. and kissing, and I, so I just... I think I'll just ride away, if that's yeah. okay. Say, uh, you leaving, Lefty? I reckon so, Pete. Well, I owe you a hundred bucks. Oh, really? I bet fifty bucks, ten to one, that you'd run Messer out of town, and I won five hundred, so you get twenty percent commission. Yeah, who would who, make who would make a bet like that with you? Uh, guess. <laughs> you bet against me, your own partner? Yep. Where'd you get the money? Borrowed it from you. Oh my God. <laughs> So I get punched and stopped and thrown into a water tank, and on top of it, I'm, I'm down 400 bucks, huh? Oh, well. It's worth it to see you again, Evelyn. Oh, same here, Lefty. Yeah. You sure you don't want to stay another day or two? I mean, gosh, we have so much to talk about. I mean, I know. so much. Staying another day or two would just make it harder to leave after oh. that, so. Well. I did write this song for you, though. Oh, you did? Oh. I love you so, Miss Bibelow. Oh. For years I've been dreaming of you. I love you, Evelyn, just as it's level in North Dakota, it's true. Oh, that's sweet. Although I have drifted away, I'm thinking of you night and day. Oh, lefty. If I only had some Wi Fi nearby, then I would send you an email or sit down and Skype. Skype with you, dear, but I cannot out here on the trail. I have in my saddlebags pictures of you, and I look at them often with tears. And so I hope you'll forgive me, my girl, for being gone seven long years. So long, Evelyn. See you around. Oh, can you, can you just give me a hug, Lefty? You know, I just, I just, it made me cry, and that's oh. all. I'm just going to head out. Let's go, Dusty. Come on, hips. Come on, hips. Go. Our Lives of the Cowboys was brought to you by Home on the Range brand Long Statuary. Deer, antelope, penguins, and flamingos, all durable and realistic. Mr. Jim Russell, Sue Scott, Dan Rawls there, Mr. Fred Newman, doing the sound effect.